today we're going to start painting ZKB number five. Hey everybody, I'm Kenny. This is Sage Brush Soul, and yes, we're going to start painting the, the zombie rampage bus number five. This one's going to be over the top. It's been very cold here, and I went and acclimated myself to Florida a little bit where uh, it actually cooled off for my arrival. It, uh, it got maybe 80 degrees down there. I was down there for almost seven days. I went down to help Vicky and Brandy at Pepper Street Studio where they make the most amazing chemical-free candles and diffusers that you could possibly imagine. They won't give you a headache. All natural products. Check them out at PepperStreetStudio.com and uh, got to hang out with Vicky's granddaughter Sophie. She's the one with Rhett's. If you go back and watch my Christmas video, I kind of explained that. I'll put a link in the video below. Uh, but it was a really great experience. Sophie and I had a good time. We read some stories. Uh, she responded to me. I met her one other time about three years ago and pretty much just ignored me and this time it was a lot better we we had a bunch of fun down there Randy had gone to the Dallas market so I went and helped Vicky with the market there in Florida and then just did some stuff around the shop that they're capable of doing but they can't stop making the candles to get it done and just helped out a little bit down there it was not a vacation in fact the only beach time I got was when Randy got home I said if we drive by the beach will you just point it out because basically it was home shop market it was not, not a vacation. So we were out doing a delivery and we drove to the beach really quick. I got this picture. And this picture. And that's as much time as I spent on the beach. It wasn't quite five minutes. I didn't time it, but that's as much time as I got on the beach. Uh, we shot a couple videos for the Pepper Street Studio website on how the diffusers work. One of them will probably be up pretty soon over there and uh, Brandy's a natural, by the way. Hi, my name is Brandy Wollington, the owner and creator of Pepper Street Studio. Anyway, so we got that done, and it was a great time. And then last night, uh, Brandy and her boyfriend, Frazier, took us to dinner. Like, it perfectly capped off my trip down there. Uh, we went and saw his motorcycle collection. He's got one Harley, but other than that, he's into the European bikes, starting with Vespas. He's got three Vespas. He let me ride one that's a 300. I did not know a Vespa could stretch your arms a little bit. That thing will take off out from underneath you. Uh, I took that for a little roll around the block. If you can picture this, riding a Vespa, it was pretty great, I'm sure. <laughs> well done. We saw it. Everybody did. And then uh, he's got a couple of BMWs. One of them is, a, I think it's a 71, 755 with a sidecar. I don't know why I didn't take, I did get a little bit of a picture of that one, but that's all I took. And then uh, he's got another BMW 1125, I think. I can't remember. I'm not real familiar with BMWs, but he let me take that for a little spin around the block and it was just, just perfect, great food. And then getting to go check that stuff out was really fun. But back to the bus, so uh, Skyler told me, he's like, this one's gotta be really over the top. Like, it's gonna be a showpiece for something that I'll let you know about when I know if I'm going or not, and as soon as more of the stuff is ironed out. I don't know how much of it's public yet about what's going on with the zombie rampage. I know anybody that's actually watched the vlogs and listened to it, I've been pretty, pretty careful about what I say about it, but it's blowing up. That's gonna be a big part of our income from this point forward. That's why we're putting so much effort into it, changing the company up a little bit. But anyway, it was really hard to get inspired to do a design for the bus, because it had to be a couple things. It has to be over the top, but I've also gotta be able to get it done. Like, I gotta get it done this week so they can start doing the fabrication to get the thing up in the air, because it's going somewhere. I think it's gotta roll out of here March 15th or something like that, or maybe even before that. It might be way before that. We're, we're pretty down to the wire. Always a rush with these things. We never can build one at our own pace. To do it, I had to start with the design that if it was my bus, what would I do with it? And this is what I came up with. Got the old tiger shark kind of military theme going on it. Then I went, I know it needed to have bright colors on it, so I did one with some brighter colors. And this is what I came up with. It's, just the colors themselves and the band in it. That little black band in there is good. It would have just piles of skulls in it. And uh, that was inspired by a truck that Cam Miller painted at HS Customs when I was working there, uh, as far as the color scheme goes. And then 
finally I bit the bullet, did the one I knew they were going to pick, and it is this purple and green monstrosity right here. I don't like those colors anywhere, but I get it. It's got to be a rolling billboard, and that's what you got to do. We wound up tweaking it a little bit, and this is ultimately what we came up with after that first design. Little uh, flame on flame action, so that's a little bit cooler, and we're going to try a fun process with that when we uh, get there and start working on it. But, I don't know, the artist in me really gets frustrated with, we create this experience in the bus. And if you haven't checked it out, uh, and you know there's one near you, there's one in Oklahoma, Minnesota, uh, but this Halloween, make sure and find the Zombie Rampage and go check it out. But we create a soundtrack where you get briefed, and uh, we create that atmosphere from the time you get to the loading zone to get on the bus that we're in this zombie apocalypse and in my own opinion you wouldn't have a bus painted like that in a zombie apocalypse it'd be more like Maddie did on the bus that's in Coeta Oklahoma that is at the haunted plantation that's how it would be and that's how Maddie designed it like that's what her frame of mind was So in my mind, we're trying to create this movie experience. The bus should look like that, like we did it with spray cans or a paintbrush or something, not a show car design. But again, that's my opinion, and that's the biggest problem with artists working with marketing people and designers, because the artists just want to create that experience, and uh, the marketing people and the designers go, we got to see this son of a bitch from a half a mile away. So. That's kind of the internal conflict, but one day, one day I'll get to paint the bus the way that I want to paint the bus. Getting a little bit later, we're gonna to get to Idaho Falls, and Skyler and I are gonna get up early tomorrow and get to work on it and see what we can get done. Stick with me. As we pull up to the house, you can see our first bus in the backyard. Skyler used it as a Christmas ornament this year. Or as cuddly as a cactus. And as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. Yo, I wonder why his neighbors have stopped talking to him. Before bed, Hemi had to show me her new dance moves. But anyway, we're going to paint the bus now after three hours-ish at the paint shop. They didn't have the... Why are you guys looking at the ceiling? It's on you, it's not me. Yeah, didn't have the paint that we like to use on this. They say this stuff's better other than it's not DTM. So we're going to do some experimenting and paint a bus that Walt Disney threw up on. Because the new paint was not a direct metal, we had to do some additional priming and I didn't get much painting done. So I rolled out at 5 a.m. the next day and shot one side of the bus before anybody else got to the shop. Moving to the other side, I about gassed out our new fabricators, Kyler and Dylan. This paint calls for a half coat followed by a medium wet coat. I'm only filming the half coat so you can have the satisfaction of seeing the bus change color. I don't mind if you want to comment about the coverage. I've said it a lot on this channel. I'm not a real painter, but projects like this are getting me closer every day. This paint was a bit of a challenge because it said you could reduce it up to 25%. It was recommended that I not reduce it at all. But in order to get any kind of a wet edge on it, I had to go the full 25, otherwise I had orange peel and dry spots like crazy. It's about 5.30 in the morning and uh, got most of the green laid down yesterday so we're getting ready to do the flames I'm gonna see if I can get you guys up on the roof but this is what I got to finish up real quick this morning I came here I came here early yesterday morning to get to get started and uh, a lot of fumes in here and stuff like that obviously I'm wearing a respirator but uh, the guys have got stuff that they need to come do in the shop, getting organized. Uh, shoot a little bit on the roof, and 
air out the shop, get it warm back up, then we're gonna start masking the flakes. I'll show you how we're gonna do that. I hopefully it works. I'm decent at laying out flames on small areas like a motorcycle tank, but free taping even the smaller flames I did on the Minneapolis bus was a struggle. <clears throat> bus. So I had an idea to make it easier by projecting the flames on the surface by using Photoshop and a photo of the bus that Skyler sent me. I projected the flames on the bus and to my delight it worked pretty damn good. After I put down the fine line tape, the masking began, and that took quite a bit longer than I thought. Alright, we're uh, getting a little bit closer now. So, this back here will be purple. Everything that's green right now will be purple, but uh, Maddie came and got it masked. The projector worked pretty good. Maddie and Soraya, she came to help today and is doing a fantastic job. And uh, so we're halfway there, but I think we missed the window, so we're gonna have to scuff all that green stuff. But anyway, we discovered this plastic stuff that we've had the whole time, and that probably saved at least six hours so far. So pretty happy about that, but this is Soraya. Say hello to Soraya. Soraya, say hello to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> and you know that guy. Hey, dude. And there's Maddie. So they're knocking this out in record time. So we might be painting tonight, but the scuffing is gonna, gonna slow us down a little. All right, so after several 12 hour days and a lot of masking, I think we're ready to go. I uh, told you yesterday, Maddie and, Maddie and Soraya got that all masked off. I got the whole front of the bus prepped. Nobody's coming in until noon today, so it bought me a little bit more time. But uh, just gonna show you, I did a test spray back here. I had that all prepped and that's the purple we're gonna lay on there the lights not real great but we're gonna do the purple so the back will be purple and we'll have these green flames right here and we'll start with purple flames so let's uh, spray and pray shall we the theory behind what you're watching is to shoot a very light coat to try to seal the mask lines and prevent bleeding I'm also fogging paint into the tight spots around the lights and gutters before I go whole hog and put down a nice wet coat for coverage. Saturday now and uh you can see I got a little lifting, some stuff I got to fix there. I've already got a pretty good jump on it. One little section right there didn't get scuffed and I'm gonna have to repaint that all together. Um, just trying to figure out, so the way that it's going, I'm gonna have to hand stripe the white between the purple and the, and the green to get, we want like a, about a three quarter to one inch stripe around there and thinking I want to use one shot, but none of the paint stores are going to be open before I kind of need to have it done. So I'm actually trying to stripe with a two part, but I want it to look like that was intentional and I'm trying to figure that out. But um, yeah, big, big project, got some cleanup to do, but just about wrapping it up. I'm going to put in a full day tomorrow, uh, kind of a lighter day to day, four o'clock. I didn't get here till Probably about 11, so five hours in. Been here since, I guess tomorrow will be seven days. We go home Monday, take care of a few things there. And the next time we see this bus, it'll probably be in the air. Um, not sure how far this video is gonna go. Probably cut it pretty quick here. 
Oh, uh, I got some masking issues back here. I'm gonna respray the door and then just touch up the windows by hand. Didn't quite get those clean enough. Same on the front door, so. Anyway, getting there. <laughs> 